Hello everybody, we're back, we're back, we're back, we're back. Uh, on the table, we got page one, page one right here. I thought it turned out pretty decent. Uh, we, it's just kind of fun and exciting, you know. It's uh, just a really good start for the book as, it, as I got it planned out right here, all right? So, what we need to do is move on to the next page. So, the next page, you know, since we're making a handmade book, is actually right here easy enough yeah there's our next page and this is gonna be the page that comes in next to it actually let me get them both in there so you can see them there we go so these are gonna be side by side in the book so I'll uh, you know just like a regular full page a double page spread I'm gonna be working on both of them we'll leave a little bit of space so you can see in between so that would be cool. And um, yeah, so we'll just uh, jump right on in on creating this one. Should be a blast. Let me move this in so you can actually see it. There we go. Put down that tape. Move it down a little bit. There we go. So yeah, let's, uh, let's go ahead and get started. So skits. On the first page was moving into that alleyway. Skip was looking for something, and uh, he's gonna find it on these two pages. Well, he's he's gonna find something. But anyway, let's uh, let me get a pencil here. I think I'm gonna start off doing a little bit of red pencil work, but. First off, I just want to kind of lay it in with a pencil, just kind of block in where I'm wanting to do things. So let me look on the back side of this. Okay, so that kind of comes in right there from uh, the other page, because I want it to kind of continue on in this page. So let me, let me block some stuff in first. I got that. And then uh, we're going to have dumpsters here yeah maybe some garbage cans and some dumpsters kind of like this yeah there we go a couple garbage cans heading off in this direction some lids skewed and then a big dumpster <laughs> That's gonna come way on over here. <laughs> okay. Like that. Well, something like yeah. Yeah, I'm liking that. Okay. Yeah, this is gonna be cool. This is definitely gonna be cool. I we'll have some junk. Uh Something hanging down from here. So a little ladder. Maybe some something hung up on the wall back here. Uh, a brick. Uh. All right. And again, this is just really, really rough. You know, just trying to rough everything in. Uh -huh. Alright, yeah, I'm kind of liking this. I'm wondering if I can draw this. I want to kind of, um, I got a little character here it's for bending and finding positions and stuff, and I think. I think I'm gonna use this to kind of get the look of skits looking in here. Just so I can kind of feel where everything is. And I'm just gonna bend them in where I think. There we go. Yeah. And then I'll put that right there. It's got magnets so it can stick to the table. 
I'm going to put that right there just so I have something as reference so I can kind of see the where the body is going to be shaped. I mean, it doesn't help you draw skits. It just kind of helps you block in shapes. So, there we go. Yeah, I was going to see if I could get this red to work here. Yeah, I think I can do the red. I'm going to... I'm gonna try popping skits in like this. There you go. So the skits is kind of just rolling in from the side here. <laughs> Looking for some fun stuff. <laughs> I think I'm just going to have them kind of float in off from the side like that. That'll be kind of fun. There we go. Yeah. <laughs> Now I'll go in with a, a pencil and do what I want to do here. Yeah, now and always, you know, because this is just a sketchbook assignment, you know, I'm making a handmade book, um, you gotta have fun with it, you know. The thing is, you just gotta remember to have fun with this. And even though we are making a story, you know, you gotta keep the story in there, but at the same time, this whole, the whole point of doing this is to have fun. So the question is... I think I'm just going to have a big smile, like, face on skits here. <laughs> there we go. Kind of cool. And, you know, I've drawn straight jackets so much that I pretty much know how they look anymore. So that really ain't that hard of a thing anymore. Mm-hmm. The hard part is just, uh, is always the angles. You know, you gotta make sure you get all the drawn angles looking good. That's the big thing, you know. And that just comes from experience. And then also using little, little deals like these, you know, like I just showed you. That always helps. I want this to be kind of childish, 
at the same time as sophisticated. That, that's a hard look to get. Um, that's something that uh, is extremely difficult to get. That sophisticated yet childish look. Uh, but we're going to try it, you know. I think we can do it. Comes, comes with time. Time is always everything. Do you have enough time to make something look cool like that? And uh, it comes also with you know time, but it's also um, just uh, confidence in mark making. You know, I always talk about that. That's so important. Where am I gonna? I think I'm going to run the, uh, his strap from his hand off the page right here. Uh, yep. But, yeah, that's the, the key for this one is I want it to be sophisticated yet very childish. So, we'll see, you know, I just got to take my time with it, and but have fun and, and work fast at the same time, you know, confident mark making, that's what it's all about. Yeah, I'm just gonna run them right off the page. That that makes it a little more fun. I kind of like this angle instead of unless I wanna. Uh, I think I wanna keep it like that. I wanna keep it like that. So now I gotta kind of make this look like an alleyway because I got skits in here, and that's looking like a lot of fun. But now I wanna kind of draw some uh, some garbage cans, and I'm gonna go with a old style garbage can. That's they get kind of beat up, these old metal ones. I just remember, I, I, you don't really see them too much anymore. Like, they still sell them. Like, I got a couple of them here. But, they just don't really sell them anymore. Now, for regular use, you know, like out at the road. I guess you could buy them and put them out at the road. But, they always get beat up. Like, of course, where I live, there's no uh, there's no service for picking up your trash from the home where I live. We're out in the country, so we got to take our own trash to the dump. So, but where you do have pickup, you know, the garbage men they don't care for these things. They just kind of beat them to heck. <laughs> I've seen videos online where they just a garbage guy gets mad at them and they just beat them to heck, man. It's like they're just throwing them around just mad. That's <laughs> like, oh, man. Like, you know you're having a bad day when you take it out on a trash can. But I guess it's best to take it out on a trash can, yeah? That's probably for the best. It's better than taking it out on somebody else or something. Anyway, that's kind of cool. There's one. And if you see me like wiping stuff off of here, it's because of, uh, <laughs> it's because of when I, when I, I made these, I laid them out in the yard to dry up, you know, from the previous videos. And, uh, yeah, there's grass clippings. I remember I, I'd mowed like, like, if, I don't know, four or five days before I did that. So, yeah. That's just how it goes. Uh, this one's gonna have a lid that's kind of jangy, I think. Mm -hmm. Maybe it shouldn't have a lid at all. Got the buckle in the way. That's okay. 
Now the reason why they put these uh, ruffles in the metal, if you see them, it's the same. It's uh, it's actually to make the uh, trash can uh, stronger. They put these uh, wrinkles in it, you know, these bends and stuff in in the metal in order to uh, make it stronger. Because if it was just flat metal, it wouldn't it wouldn't be very strong. So the you know same thing with old cars. You see these cars with crazy looking line work. They just look really cool now, but there was actually a reason for it. They were doing it to uh, make sure that the that it was rigid and strong. That's why you have those real nice lines on old old uh, cars. Maybe I have something hanging out of this trash can right here. Yeah, there we go. I think this one, maybe this one just have like the, the lid sitting back here or something. That'd be fine. Yeah, just have the lid sitting back here. I'll just have, have it right here just kind of beat up and stuff that rolls right off the page and of course once uh, you get everything laid in where you kind of like it you can go back and determine where you want to put the most detail you know because you don't have to put detail everywhere something uh you know, at, at my grandma's house when I was a kid in Florida, I remember they'd always throw these garbage bags out um, at the driveway, the, the garbage men would, and they were giving you garbage bags, and now that I think back on it, that's really strange, but it had these little twist ties that would go with the garbage bags. You'd get like a couple of garbage bags and like a strip of like four or five strip ties. So maybe that's the type of garbage bag that's in, in this trash can. You know? Again, trash lids over here. I gotta find some other stuff to kinda... here. This is the way Savannah looks. There's bricks in the alleyways and well most of the alleyways. Some places it's been pulled up and they just put asphalt in but it's actually uh, cobblestone throughout most of the old downtown city which is where this is taking place. Downtown Savannah. Here I was wanting to put in this uh, fire escape. Yeah, maybe. Uh, there we go. Kind of cool. Maybe I'll put in some uh, bricking up in here too. Just kind of some detail flowing off the side of the page. Anyway, I kind of like this for just this page, so let's 
Let's move it off to the side and pull this one in. I can work on that one though. Let me see here. Make sure it looks good on the screen. Alright. And now we're going to have like a big old dumpster here. And Skits is going to be here too. So Skits is going to be kind of looking in and pulling something out. So I'm going to rebend my little figure here. My figure. And uh, kind of get what I think Skits would look like. like eh? Yeah, the fingers pop off of these things sometimes. Uh, I think I kind of like that. Let's see, it's kind of cool. Bend them so he's at the right angle. Oh, oh, lost a hand. Put that hand back in. There we go. All right. All right, so let's, uh, let's do this. We'll put skits right up in here. And then I'm going to put the important part right above. About, right about there, I think. So, what I kind of want to do is like uh, the triangle type thing where I got boom, boom, and now I need something. Not sure what over here, but uh, I think I might. Yeah, there we go. Because what Skits is doing here is he's actually looking for. A book, but he's found something else though. But it's still equally important to the story. So we'll put Skitz's hand will be right here. And what I'll do is uh, I'll make the uh, buckle hang down and kind of point towards the other thing here. Wow. His other arm. What can I do? Like this, and then like that. There we go. All right. Yeah, I like that now. All right. Yeah, there we go. All right. Now let's There we go. All right. Nostrils flared a bit. These skits is kind of like, Ooh, what the heck is this? Is this what I think it is?
know. It's like, hey, what's going on? It's kind of squinty. I'm like, mm, so the cheeks are kind of going to be high up. There we go. It's just, just kind of like, yeah, I don't know. Mm. Mm. Oh. There we go. Yeah. Yeah, now we're talking. I like that. And then the hand will fall over. There we go. Gotta follow. And I want that to kind of point down that way. Like that. Yeah, I like that. That's this is cool. And then skip to his arm. There we go. Mm -hmm. Nope. Like that. And then he's holding this, which is going to be boot. So there we go. right there. Yeah, I think I do. It'd be one of them smaller dumpsters. Stinky. There we go. And of course, this is the uh, arm. No, wait. Oh, I got it kind of reversed here. <laughs> so, this is the one. All right. So what we might do here, we might just kind of do a little switcheroo on it. But anyway, this one's going to be the one with the uh, buckle. Alright, so I'm do a little buckle here. I'll have to switch this one so that this one, maybe this one kind of comes down like that. There we go. That'd be kind of fun. Yeah. <clears throat> and then, oh, where's Boot? Boot's back here. Let me grab Boot right quick. So this is actually Boot. Yeah. Right. Boot. And I'm going to put boot right up here so I can kind of get an idea of what boot would look like dangling. Yeah, heck with it. I'll just put it like that. Put boot like that. There we go. So boot's going to be dangling. Mm 
And of course, you know, I'm just roughing this in right now, I and mean, then go back and do whatever I want with it. There I go. is boot. <laughs> cool. Cool, cool, cool. There we go. There we go. There's boot. All right, cool. If you like what you're seeing here, give us a like, share, subscribe. Also go on over to the skitscomic.com website. All videos show up there a week before they ever hit YouTube. While you're there, pick you up a comic book, print, or go ahead and uh, get you an original piece of art. Lastly, go over to indiegogo.com and sign up for the book that you're actually watching being made right now. Thank you and have a great day.